and I think those revenues could be dedicated to the purse. The question of um, how much would have to do so, there'd have to be further study, you know, and this is, a, this is an operating business. You'd have to look at the business holistically. Um, we talked about some of the drivers, pricing, inventory management, uh, purchasing, retail distribution, all those pieces. Um, I do think that there's also, as I said the last time we talked about this, um, making all of these operational changes without any structural change would be difficult. Um, OLCC has lots of um, constituencies that they have to work with in terms of making various decisions. It would be very hard to tune the machine as finely as you might want to do in a commercial context once you're into the state budgeting processes and all of the different constituencies that they have to deal with. So, you know, one of the questions that um, I'll be um, teeing up in the report is a structural change, not necessarily changing ownership um, in a broad sense, but potentially going from state agency to public cooperation, which I think would give um, a lot more opportunity for them to tune the machine. And certainly the fantastic example of OHSU and what you all have done since becoming a public cooperation is one of the things that I find very inspiring personally as I think about this sort of thing. Um, and then the last area I wanted to talk about is the bottom-up program. And